I really haven't time. Oh, it won't take any time at all if you have your refreshments while we conduct our business. The tea will be fine. <laughs> ah, poor Albert. Yes, Miss Barabill. I ordered tea brewed because I was expecting Mr. Hollander. Abbott tea drinker. But I suppose reading of a will is usually left to the junior partner. Will you have cream, Mr. Bentley, or brandy? Brandy lends an elegance to tea. Uh, neither, thank you, and uh, no sugar. Mm -hmm. The actual reading is a formality we can dispense with, and I can give you the salient points. After all, you're the only person mentioned in the will. Oh, well, I shouldn't be surprised to find that Joseph had left me everything. After all, there's no one else he could have possibly included. Would you have a piece of hazelnut cake? No, no, thank you. Of course, I'll depend on you to fill me in and the details of Joseph's enterprises. I suppose they're terribly involved. Actually, not that much. To sum up, Mrs. Marable, your husband was not as solvent as you probably assume. Oh, you must be referring to that dilapidated apartment house he bought. Joseph mentioned that that turned out to be an unprofitable purchase. <laughs> yes, he disposed of that some time ago. Oh, did he? Well, he wasn't always able to keep me up on all his ventures. His oil holdings, though, must be doing very well. His oil holdings are unexercised options. They must have some value. Well, Joseph invested in so many companies. They're so numerous, I can't even remember all the names. Mrs. Marable, there are no assets 